Hello everyone, Rob here, and today we've got a review of the B-Link Micro PC. So I was looking for something very compact, something that wouldn't take up a lot of desk space, to primarily test distros on. It needed to be powerful enough to run any distro and test a lot of software. So the B-Link here is certainly small, it's compact. We're gonna do a review rundown, I'll go through the specs, and I'll give you my impressions of this little stinger, pun intended. So the B-Link certainly is compact. Here it is stacked up beside a cell phone that's, you know, your average cell phone right at a six inch diagonal screen. So the compactness of this little device is very nice. I read lots of reviews on Amazon where I purchased this and of course I'll have the link and description and everything in the video notes section. This comes preloaded with Windows 10 Pro and at first boot everything's loading up and installing updates and everything that you get with Windows. So without a doubt um, the fan was full blast at that time. Later on, as I started installing Linux, totally wiped Windows, started installing different Linux distros, KDE Neon, Linux Mint, Pop! OS, so on and so forth, um, the fan is certainly not running as much with most Linux distros. Uh, but as far as size, I really appreciate the size. So we're going to go ahead and show you here on the front, you have two USB 3.0 ports and one USB-C port as well as the power button and an audio out. It is also heavy with ports and that was one of the draws for this device. You have two HDMI ports, uh, the power input, two standard USB ports, and we have an ethernet jack. You notice here a large area and opening for the fan. And again, the fan noise is the one drawback. It's not horrible. It's just one of those things if you're in a quiet office, you notice it on both sides. And I forgot, you do have a micro SD card slot. So up next, let's talk about the specs of this little micro PC. So a quick rundown on the specs of the little B-Link mini PC. Um, there are two versions that I found that I was shopping for. And again, read a lot of reviews. And um, so two versions, fifth gen Core i3 Intel processor. Uh, or 5th gen Core i5 processor. I went with the Core i5 here with 8 gigs and uh, or 8 gigs of memory and 250 gigs of storage. You can go all the way up to 512 gigs of storage, uh, but the maximum you're going to find in the little B-Link is 8 gigs of RAM, which for my use case scenario was just fine. The hard drive is a 1 inch SATA hard drive, 2.5 inch. So first of all, the build, it's, uh, you know, it's plastic. It's sturdy enough, it's very light, and in fact, I was surprised at how light this unit really is. Um, it doesn't appear to get very hot, but again, the fan kicks in when it needs to. You do hear it. It's got large enough fan ports to get rid of that heat, and I think they've designed this so that you get a good amount of flow. The other design aspect that I really appreciate is they were smart in placement of their ports. So when you have USB 3.0 ports, which are your high-speed ports, why would you put those on the back? You want those on the front so that you can easily access those. I get it if you're within a desktop environment where you are plugging a lot of different cords and things into the back of the unit, perhaps having one USB 3 or two in the back. So having those two USB 3 ports right up front, also with the USB-C and your audio input, your audio jack. So other things I like is that this handles for you know, standard word editing, browsing the web, checking your email, uh, those kinds of things, handles every distro I've thrown at it. And I've probably put five different distros on there. Again, when I booted up for the first time with Windows 10 Pro, Windows actually ran okay. It's just that with all the updates and everything else that Windows is known to do in the background, the fan was continually running. First distro I loaded on here was Linux Mint 20 and immediately the fan barely ran at all. And doing other things in the background, then you're gonna get some load on this little V-Link, and then you'll have some fan noise kicking in on a Linux distro, but it was rare, it was, it was bearable. And again, I don't wanna over-exaggerate it. It's not like you're gonna hear this fan running in the room next to you or anything like that. But if you're sitting in a quiet office environment where maybe you don't have music or anything on and you're just focused, uh, with no background noise, you're just going to notice and hear the fan. 
so that's one of the negatives. What's the other negative? Well, it's the maxed out version that I could find and it's in a price range that I think is okay. I'm not going to say it's a total negative because it's, it's up to you how you spend your money. You can find these on Amazon and I didn't go to eBay or other sources. I just went straight to Amazon for anywhere between 250 and about 300 bucks, depending on which version you buy. So, you know, once I got the device, I think I paid right at 300 with free shipping. I guess I was a little disappointed as far as just the plastic hardware aspect. But you know what? It does everything I've asked it to do on the Linux side. And it's done it without a lot of stutter. Now, there have been occasions where I've just noticed a little slowdown. It's certainly not as fast as my big desktop box. I don't regret buying this. I'm sure had I shopped around a little more or waited towards the end of the year, there'll be something that's a little faster. Uh, it'd be nice to find something like this uh, in this price range with the latest from AMD on the Ryzen series. But for the most part, it runs just fine. I actually ran Warzone 2100, which can be a resource intensive game if you're in a large skirmish match, for example. So, but overall, I am pleased with the purchase. I just wanted to share this with you in case there's someone that kind of looking for something similar. Maybe you're doing some distro hopping. Maybe you want to experiment with different softwares out there you know you could uh, if you wanted you could probably turn this into a chrome os box i would imagine well i hope sharing this is helpful to you maybe you've been in the market if so uh, i would say research do your own research of course but b-link so far and i've had this for probably going on two months b-link so far is not a bad little device all right we'll leave it at that as always thanks for watching